Okay, remember how I said that there's the shaft that goes through this uh, clutch drum? You have to put the slide hammer inside of it and pull it out. Okay, James, put a little bit of pressure on the... This one. All right, whoop, too much. Well, hold on. And there you have it. All right, James, up. Easy. Oh, oh. Easy. Come on. Come on. Oh. Up. Back out. All right. Put this on the bench. Hold on before you take that loose. Okay. Um, let me move this camera. Show you what I do. Like I said before in an earlier video, I put the pin in. It's on the inside of here. I just put it through this one. I've got a spread hook. Just take that out. And I just made a little eyelet with an old piece of pipe, welded it to a 3 8 bolt. Nothing to it. It works like a charm. We've done how many bulldozers for this? More than I can count here. Yeah, we, we've done a lot. But there you have it. There's the culprit of all our issues. Like I said, that's that's typically due to water or oil intrusion or, in this case, probably fuel. Um, it looks like it has tried to dry out some, but it's just, if I had to guess, it's just a cheap band. So... Uh, when we have more videos, we'll definitely uh, post them up. So that's going to do it for this one. That is removable of brake band and clutch drum assembly in a John Deere 450. Thanks for tuning in. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. You can follow me on YouTube. Otis did it again. Uh, you can go to Otis391 on TikTok. Catch all my little funny videos and my short and four minute stuff on there. Uh, I'm also on uh, Instagram. It's uh, Otis.Marcus. Uh, can't remember. It'll pop up if you just put the Otis.Marcus. But uh, that's my social media platforms. Uh, like I said, give us a follow. Give us a like. Give us a uh, give us some comments. Give us some feedback. If you see something I did that you didn't like? Tell me about it. I'm willing to listen. Learn from everybody. So y'all have a great day. Thank you.